hydroponics farming. So the question arises here, how hydroponics farming is related to our, uh, our chosen topic? As humans explore space, humans want to bring plants for both aesthetic and practical reasons. We already know for our, from our pioneering astronauts that fresh flowers and gardens on the International Space Station creates a beautiful atmosphere and that they are good for our psychological well-being too. Uh, it will also be crit critical for keeping astronauts healthy on long-duration long missions. When we send people to space, a lot of storage is consumed by the freeze dried foods that astronauts have to carry for their sustenance. But with hydroponics, uh, fresh food will be available in space itself. The technique of hydroponics we have used is ebb and flow technique. Uh, in which a water pump supplies water to the crops and excess water nutrients are uh, returned to the reservoir after submerging. The water is infused with a total of 13 micronutrients and micronutrients, including carbon, phosphorus, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, uh, phosphor, uh, potassium, and sulfur, etc. The plants are uh, enclosed in a greenhouse and is provided artificial sunlight by red LED lights. Our model of hydroponic farming, placed inside this cubicle container, is made using plastic flowers, 3.7 volt and 7.4 volt batteries, along with six 3 volt LED lights, and also cardboard water container, and also water pipe and water pump. Our LED light here acts as an artificial sunlight to the plant. The water, the water, nutrients, and minerals inside this water container is pumped through the, throughout the pipelines to give nourishment to the plant through the water pump inside it. The pipeline that, that circulates the water is supported by a structure made of cardboard, and the root of the plant is deeply rooted inside the pipelines as to not allow nutrient-infused water to flow out. Thank you. Space travel by helping future astronauts who may spend extended periods of time traveling through space. Instead of the freeze dried foods that need to be continuously supplied to the astronauts, hydroponic farming can produce fresh greens which can improve the overall diet and in turn the mood of the astronauts as well. It has many benefits. 1. It boosts food production. Hydroponic plants have a higher rate of growth and final yield than soil grown plants. Instead of using their energy on wood expansion, they use this save energy to boost plant growth as they have direct access to the nutrient-infused water. 2. It is water efficient since all the water is reused again. It uses almost 95% less water than soil grown plants. Almost 0% of the water evaporates and moreover, there is no water lost to the soil. 3. No pesticide usage. There is no need for pesticides or weed control products. Pesticide-free crops means no hazardous or adverse effects on the human body. 4. Fewer man hours. It requires far less labor in, as there is no additional need for tilling, weeding, and other labor-intensive farm jobs. Instead, it cuts back on the costs and this time is used for the main pursuits of the astronauts. This project was successful because of every group member and due to the clear guidance of our teachers as well. The idea for this project came from extensive research by all group members, but the final hydroponics project idea was given by Rachna and I. Each member played a part in the making of the project, be it the design, the decorations, or the technical part. We all put a hand in to complete it. The scripts were also individually written, and I did the final proofreading.